Greetings friends, Jealous Paul here. This episode, we are um, fighting in the Coliseum of Fools, even though I have defeated this uh, all the way to the end. I'm actually back in the Trial of the Warrior because I'm on a quest today. I'm, I'm on a quest to fight all forms of Zote. Zote uh, is, is a guy who very much always wanted to... Um, I don't know. He, he, he always wanted to, to fight me and he always wanted to uh, try to bust my bust my chops, if you will. And, uh, and so I think it's high time uh, we've we've had it out. Uh, we have we it, this has needed to happen for a long time. I think, you know, it's good to clear the air and finally do what needs to be done um, with, with Zote. So that's that's the goal for today. So I am back. I am back in back in the game uh, just to see. Whoa, 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 friends. Oh wow. Okay, got them both at the same time. Mar or, uh, thorns doing work there. Um. So I think here's Zote for the first time that we've ever fought him. I'm very excited. There he is. Zote the Mighty. I'm excited. Oh, he's so little. Why is this okay? This seems so wrong. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Do I get to listen to him? Come on, help him get up. All right, I, I defeated him, friends. Now I think uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump cut over to uh, the the town of of uh, Hollow Nest, and we're gonna. Just see what we can see. Cause I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's an even bigger fight coming my way. So, stay tuned for that. All right. So we're back in Dirtmouth. Let's see what's changed. I, I believe that there's something that appears. Uh, there we go. Gray Prince, so dark, so troubled. But that's not the only danger I had to overcome in my quest for glory. You've noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake from my final triumphant battle deep in the pit below us. Yes, life and claimed another victim, and the crowd erupted into ecstatic cheering. Cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. To what do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories, you ask? As I said earlier, the key is in my personal philosophy, the 57 precepts of Zot. Particularly relevant here is the first precept. Always win your battles. As for the other 56 precepts, well... Precept 2. Never let them laugh at you. Fools laugh at everything, even at their superiors. But beware. Laughter isn't harmless. Laughter spreads like disease, and soon everyone is laughing at you. You need to strike at the source of this perverse merriment quickly to stop it from spreading. Precept 3. Always be rested. Fighting and adventuring takes their toll on your body. When you rest, your body strengths and strengthens and repairs itself. The longer you rest, the stronger you become. Precept 4. Forget your past. The past is painful, and thinking about your past can only bring you misery. Think about something else instead, such as the future or some food. Precept 5. Strength beats strength. Is your opponent strong? No matter. Simply overcome their strength with even more strength, and they'll soon be defeated. Precept 6. Choose your own fate. Our elders teach that our fate is chosen for us before we are even born. I disagree. Precept 7. Mourn not the dead. When we die, do things get better for us or worse? There's no way to tell, so we shouldn't bother mourning or celebrating for that matter. Precept 8. Travel alone. You can rely on nobody, and nobody will always be loyal. Therefore, nobody should be your constant companion. Precept 9. Keep your home tidy. Your home is where you keep your most prized possession, yourself. Therefore, you should make an effort to keep it nice and clean. Precept 10. Keep your weapon sharp. I make sure that my weapon, life ender, is kept well sharpened at all times. This makes it much easier to cut things. Precept 11. Mothers will always betray you. This precept explains itself. 
Precept 12. Keep your cloak dry. If your cloak gets wet, dry it as soon as you can. Wearing wet cloaks is unpleasant and can lead to illness. Precept 13. Never be afraid. Fear can only hold you back. Facing your fears can be a tremendous effort. Therefore, you should not. Just not be afraid in the first place. Precept 14. Respect your superiors. If someone is your superior in strength or intellect or both, you need to show them your respect. Don't ignore them or laugh at them. Precept 15. One flow, one foe, one blow. You should only use a single blow to defeat an enemy. Any more is a waste. Also, by counting your blows as you fight, you'll know how many foes you defeated. Precept 16. Don't hesitate. Once you've made a decision, carry it out and don't look back. You'll achieve much more this way. Precept 17. Believe in your strength. Others may doubt you, but there's someone you can always trust. Yourself. Make sure to believe in your own strength that you will never falter. Precept 18. Seek truth in the darkness. This precept also explains itself. Precept 19. If you try, succeed. If you're going to attempt something, make sure you achieve it. If you do not succeed, then you'll have actually failed. Avoid this at all costs. Precept 20. Speak only the truth. When speaking to someone, it is courteous and also efficient to speak truthfully. Beware, though, that speaking truthfully may make you enemies. That this is something you'll have to bear. Precept 21. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't just walk along staring at the ground. You need to look up every so often to make sure nothing takes you by surprise. Precept 22. Abandon the nest. As soon as I could, I left my birthplace and made my way out to the world. Do not linger in the nest. There is nothing for you there. Precept 23. Identify the foe's weak point. Every foe you encounter has a weak point, such as a crack in their shell or, a, or being asleep. You must constantly be alert and scrutinizing your enemy to detect their weakness. Precept 24. Strike the foe's weak point. Once you've identified your foe's weak point as per the previous precept, strike it. This will instantly destroy them. Precept 25. Protect your own weak point. Be aware that your foe will try to identify your weak point, so you must protect it. The best protection? Never having a weak point in the first place. Precept 26. Don't trust your reflection. When peering at certain shiny surfaces, you may see a copy of your own face. The face will mimic your movements and seem similar to your own, but I don't think it can be trusted. Precept 27. Eat as much as you can. When having a meal, eat as much as you possibly can. This gives you extra energy and means you can eat, eat less frequently. Precept 28. Don't peer into the darkness. If you peer into the darkness and can't see anything for too long, your mind will start to linger over old memories. Memories are to be avoided as per Precept 4. Precept 29. Develop your sense of direction. It's easy to get lost when traveling through winding, twisting caverns. Having a good sense of direction is like having a magical map inside your head. Very useful. Precept 30. Never accept a promise. Spurn the promises of others as they are always broken. Promises of love or betrothal are to be avoided, especially. Precept 31. Disease lives inside of dirt. You'll get sick if you spend too much time in filthy places. If you are staying in someone else's home, demand the highest level of cleanliness from your host. Precept 32. Names have power. Names have power, and so do name. And so to name something is granted power. I named myself. My name by nail. Lightbender. Do not steal the name I came up with. Invent your own. Precept 33. Show the enemy no respect. Being gallant to your enemies is no virtue. If someone opposes you, they don't deserve respect or kindness or mercy. Precept 34. Don't eat immediately before sleeping. This can cause restlessness and indigestion. It's just common sense. Precept 35. Up is up. Down is down. If you fall over the darkness, it can be easy to lose your bearing and forget which way is up. Keep this precept in mind. Precept 36. Eggshells are brittle. Once again, this precept explains itself. Precept 37. Borrow, but do not lend. If you lend and are repaid, you gain nothing. If you borrow, but do not repay, you gain everything. <laughs> Precept 38. Beware of the mysterious force. A mysterious force bears down on us from above, pushing us downwards. If you spend too long in the air, the force will crush you against the ground and destroy you. Beware! Precept 39. Eat quickly and drink slowly. Your body is a delicate thing. You must fuel it with great deliberation. Fu food must go in as fast as possible, but fluids at a slower rate. Precept 40. Obey no law but your own. Laws written by others may inconvenience you or be a burden. Let your own desires be the only law. Precept 41. Learn to detect lies. When others speak, they usually lie. Scrutinize and question them relentlessly until they reveal their deceit. Precept 42. Spend geo when you have it. Some will cling onto their geo, even taking it into the dirt with them when they die. It is better to spend it when you can, so you can enjoy various things in life. Precept 43. Never forgive. If someone asks forgiveness of you, for instance, a brother of yours, always deny it. That brother, or whoever it is, doesn't deserve such a thing. Precept 44. You cannot breathe water. Water is refreshing, but if you try to breathe it, you are in for a nasty shock. Precept 45. One thing is not another. This one should be obvious, but I've had others try to argue that one thing, which is clearly what it is and not something else, is actually some other thing, which it isn't. Stay on your guard. <laughs> Precept 46. The world is smaller than you think. When young, you tend to think that the world is vast, huge, gigantic. It's only natural. Unfortunately, it's actually quite a lot smaller than that. I can say this now, having traveled everywhere in the land. Precept 47. Make your own weapon. Only you, no, only you know exactly what is needed in your weapon. I myself fashioned life ender from shell wood at a young age. It has never failed me, nor I it. Precept 48. Be careful of fire. Fire is a type of hot spirit that dances around recklessly. It can warm you and provide light, but it will also singe your shell if you get too close. Precept 49. Statues are meaningless. Do not honor them. No one has ever made a statue of your eyes, so why should we pay them any attention? Precept 50. Don't linger on mysteries. Some things in this world appear to us as puzzles. Or enigmas. If the meaning behind something is not immediately evident, though, don't waste any time thinking about it. Just move on. Precept 51. <laughs> Nothing is harmless. Given the chance, everything in this world will hurt you. Friends, foes, monsters, even paths. Be suspicious of them all. Precept 52. Beware the jealousy of fathers. Fathers believe that because they created us, we must serve them and never exceed their capabilities. If you wish to forge your own path, you must vanquish your father or simply abandon him. Precept 53. Do not steal the desires of others. Every creature keeps their desires locked up inside of themselves. If you catch a glimpse of another's desire, resist the urge to claim them as your own. It will not lead you to happiness. Precept 54. If you lock something away, keep the key. Nothing should be locked away forever, so I'll hold on to your key. You will eventually return and unlock everything you hid away. Precept 55. Bow to no one. There are those in this world who impose their will on others. They claim ownership over your food, your land, your body, even your thoughts. They have done nothing to earn those things. Never bow to them and make sure to disobey their commands. Precept 56. Do not dream. Dreams are dangerous things. Strange ideas, not your own, can worm their way into your mind. But if you resist those ideas, sickness will rack your body. Best not to dream at all, like me. Precept 57. Obey all precepts. Most importantly, you must commit all of these precepts to memory and obey, obey them all unfailingly, including this one. Hmm. Have you truly listened to everything I've said? Let's start again and repeat the 57 precepts of Zot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's check out his uh, little hut here. Oh, that's not his hut. Let's see, have I bought everything? Cleaned it all out. Alright. Now we're... Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah! 
Are we seriously going to get another mask? That's awesome. Inspect. The Grey Prince, having heaving heavy breaths, flush from the exertion of battle, the figure emerged from the well. Triumph was his, and trophy he bore and trophy he bore to prove it the fearsome skull of his vanquished opponent. Startling warning he brought to the village, one that rings so true. Their white savior, though a hero by the bugs, was a vicious beast, and this shrouded gray prince was in truth the hero deserved. With honor and humility he recounted his quest below, his epic journey of one purpose, to find her, to protect her, his gray maiden, his partner in darkness. Okay. Keep thinking I'm gonna like pick that up or something. Okay. Let's descend. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Whoa. The dream of uh of Zote. I'm a little I'm a little scared. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little I'm a little scared. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. Terrifying, beautiful, powerful Grey Prince Zoot! Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Whoops. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dang it. <laughs> oh that's that's tough. All right. Okay, I think I, I think I get the gist of this though. Okay, yeah, that's just just descending. Oh, I can't. That's right. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta avoid. I'm gonna try to avoid all damage if I can. this again I, I do did a little bit better we got into the first phase um, I'm actually wondering about maybe picking up um, picking up uh, what you would call it um, quick focus I feel like quick focus would be nice no, 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 no. Shoot. 
Ugh. I think it's so hard to avoid. Okay. Alright. I've got an idea or two about how to uh, deal with this. We'll have to just try this out. Okay. Uh, let's take off that. I think we want Mark of Pride still. I don't know about Grub Song or this. Nail Master's Glory is probably good. Let's go quick focus. Mm. Maybe let's mm. let's do grip song. Okay, let's try that. Just see how it goes. <laughs> this is this is pretty awesome, though. I gotta say, I'm a, I'm a fan. Ooh, I got full. Uh, Full soul this time. Oh my gosh. Friends, thanks for tuning in. This has been uh, Hollow Knight, and uh, we defeated Great Prince Oat. Take it easy, guys.